Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 22 of an old guy gaming and in this episode we are going to install our greenhouses and get those going and then uh, it is August 1st so we'll probably do some contracts and we also need to start thinking about our oats sometime either today, tomorrow or August 3rd we've got to harvest our oats. So our grass is growing. And we have a yield bonus of 90, somewhere between 80 to 90 percent uh, on it. I'm not sure why there's such a fluctuation, but well, when we get out in the middle, it's it's a straight up 75 percent. So, yeah, um, I did all the field prep that I said I was going to do in the last episode. So this field's all planted and ready to go. We also did. Uh, oh, look at our cotton. What is this? Okay, that's still growing too, but we're starting to see cotton flowers, which is awesome. And then, yeah, we did, uh, no, not this field. I'm going to say, what? In the, where did all those weeds come from? Uh, we got this field all done too. So I plowed it over here, and we got grass planted, and this is all prepped too. It's been rolled, plowed, destoned, fertilized, etc., etc. And I also built this road here too. So let's, let's actually go into design landscaping mode and yeah you can see the road uh, we built that and that's the field there that we did and it's looking pretty good okay so yeah um the goal for today is to get our greenhouses going that's the main goal and then get started on some contracts i haven't even looked at the contract yet actually um let's get back to the house and then we'll take a look see at those uh, let's see, what else? Is there not a whole lot else to tell you, really? That's uh, pretty much all that has happened since the last episode. So let's head on over here. Where did that stuff come from? That's weird. I should have, that should have all been taken care of when we did our stuff. Oh, there's like a piece over here, too. Weird. And a piece over here. Why is this happening? I don't know. I don't know, but I think that's... I think that's it. Okay. Oh, I forgot to put my, um, my extra seeds and lime and stuff away. I was going to do that before I hung it up for the day and I forgot to. So let's get that taken care of first, because I need I want that stuff out of the way anyways. Um, actually, and before we do that, I want, let's look at a couple things real quick. So I want to take a look at the calendar. Uh, cotton is, no, calendar. So yeah, we can't ha actually harvest the cotton until October or November. So that's a little bit later. And then once we do that, uh, I will probably... Yeah, I'll probably plant grass on, on the cotton fields too because we should be able to get one cutting out of it before we have to plant the soybeans because we have all the way until the end of May to plant the soybeans. So we should be able to, to do it that way. Um, okay, yeah, now the other thing we were going to look at is we were going to look at the contracts. Currently no contracts available. Well, I was going to say there's got to be contracts available. Okay, there's a cultivating contract on a large field with a large cultivator. Uh, we will make about six and a half, sixty-seven hundred bucks on it, um, minus that. Uh, so I think we'll take that and we're going to borrow the big cultivator. And then uh, we'll take any other cultivator contracts after that. Okay, what else? More cultivating, okay. Plowing. That's a pretty good size plow. That's the second to the largest plow on field 54, which is probably pretty good size. Where is 54 at? Oh, it's not that ginormous. Okay. Um, I'll tell you what, though. Let's, before we commit to that, let's see if another plowing contract will come up with an even larger. Yeah, we'll take the cultivating. Ah, uh, this is this is what I want to see. It's a fertilizer. Okay, we'll accept that. We got our own fertilize fertilizing equipment. There's another cultivating. And these are two 
uh, another plow in, but it's got an even smaller plow. The thing about plowing is you want to get the largest plow you 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 can because otherwise it just takes forever. Man, cultivating all over the place. So yeah, we'll make some money on on that. Another cultivating. I wish they'd all just like come up at once, you know? Another cultivating. Fertilizing. Nice. I'll take that. I think that's all that's available. Okay, so let's take this one. We're going to borrow the big cultivator. And then we'll just accept this contract. Okay, so that's basically the money we're looking at for August for contract work. Uh, unfortunately, no bailing or harvesting, which means we're not going to make any extra bonus money. We're just going to make the money straight up from the contract. But that's okay. Um, I didn't actually take the time to count. Oh. What did I just do? Open gate. I had no idea that did that. Does that mean we can open this door? If I can get over there. Oh, oh wow. I didn't know we could do that. Now I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, wow. That is cool, man. I wonder if we can, I wonder if we can get the tractor in there. Cause then we can actually back stuff in here and store it inside. I had no idea we could do that. Here I was belly aching that we couldn't open the doggone door. How funny is that, man? Can we open this door? What? They all open. Well, not all of them. Oh, that is awesome. What about this one? Yeah, man. We're loading hay up in the loft. Okay, that's cool, man. <laughs> I didn't know that. Oh, man. Happy accidents, man. A little Bob Ross action there. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, uh, what were we doing? We were talking about contracts, and I was saying something, and then I opened the door and got totally surprised. Hey, can we open up the, the hayloft up there? Let's go. Let's go see. We got to find out. Very important. Why? I have no idea. Oh, you can. There's not really... That is so neat. There's not really any... Uh, what is that stuff? I don't know room up here to store anything though it looks like there's some drain field pipe we got a bunch of lumber up here and some old milk cans and a wash tub oh this is neat man there's a little barn uh, steeple thingamadoodle i'm sure that's not what they're actually called barn steeple thingamadoodle but that's what we called it hey we got a, a another toolbox no way! This can't... This this isn't... That's not like the mod toolbox, though. It can't be. Because the mod toolbox is down below. That's probably just one that comes with the barn. It's just a prop, I'm sure. Okay, well, hey, that's good to know. That chain might change a few things for me in terms of what we might store in here. If I can get the tractor under there. Uh, I don't know. But you know what we could do? We could get a... Like a little quad or something. Which we could probably get under there. I, I don't think my tractor would would be able to fit under there. Well, there's no way to tell without actually moving the trailer and trying it. But anyway, that's not what we're about today. So, um, greenhouses. And we were talking about contracts. I can't remember what I was saying, but let's, let's just move on. <laughs> okay, so. Um, the plan is that we are going to purchase three mod hub greenhouses. They are exactly like the Videla ones, the large ones, except for that they have double the output, but they also require fertilizer. Whereas the vanilla, uh, greenhouses, the ones that the base game greenhouses, oh, that's right. We were going to get the pallets. Um, the base game greenhouses only require water. You don't have to supply any fertilizer at all to them. So... I have decided that um, we're going to go with those those modded ones because it makes more sense to provide fertilizer to a greenhouse. And if you do pr provide fertilizer to a greenhouse, you should expect to get more yield. So that's 
that's the deal, man. That is the deal. Let's get rid of this. Get our front loader attached. And I have some forks over here. Actually, you know what? Since we have to store those pallets of seed and lime, maybe we will pull this out of the way and see if we can squeeze, squeeze in there. It's going to be super tight if we can at all. Well, let's just try it because I want to know. Inquiring old guys want to know. We'll just pull this straight out and then we can back it straight back in when we're all done. Looks like I missed a, a spot of grass there. Not surprising. You know, I think my beacon lights are what's going to screw us up with that, but we will try it, and that way at least we can say that we tried it, and it didn't work. Nope. Not going to work. Well, that's too bad. It's too bad that... They didn't make that a little bit higher, because then we could drive right on in there and store things, you know. But they didn't, so it is what it is. Okay, so let's just go grab our pallets. Uh, we have two seed pallets and one lime pallet that were, was left over. And this seed pallet over here is 100% full. The other one is... Uh, the other one's about 20% full. Make sure we got those in the right spot. Okay, now the question is where are we going to actually put these things? Ideally, we want them inside. Um, but again, I just don't have a lot of room to maneuver if we stored them in the barn. Plus, I've been parking the tractor in there. Not that that's a big deal. We could probably scooch them in here. I don't know if we're going to get all of them in there, though. We're going to close this door. Uh, there you go. Okay, let's put that down for a second. I want to make sure we're in. How come that's not straightening up? I mean, visibly, the fork is... still has clearance, but it's like it's, there's like just no room, no margin for error there. All right, whatever. Um, I know, here's what we are going to try and do. I don't know if I can do this, but we're going to try something here. Let's put, uh, it, don't, this is so glitchy. Knock it off. Just trying to make sure my forks are about as level as I can get them. Uh, I'm going to see if I can stack that other one on top of here. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to happen. Okay. That was funny. <laughs> Bro, what in the world? Normally, you dip the forks back, but they're so finicky that I wanted to keep them level. Okay, now, let's a little more carefully pull over here. Is this better in first person? Actually, yeah, it is a little better in first person. Okay, we need to come back this way a little bit. Uh, 
wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, well, as long as it stays on there. Okay, so it's moments like these that I need to use super strength to fix these weird glitchy things. Because I don't want to sit here for 10 minutes and fight that thing with the forklift to try and get it straight. And I guess these aren't really meant to stack on top of each other anyways. It's really hard to make fine-tune movements because of these digital controls. <laughs> Look at it, just bouncing around. You know what? I have a feeling like the next time I log in, that's going to really glitch out. So we're just going to do that. Okay. Good enough. Well, that was harder than it needed to be. Okay. It is now time for us to put our greenhouses in. So just like uh, Mom and Joe instructed, we got on the internet and went to uh, the farm store in, in the Mod Hub City. And we placed our greenhouses on order. And they are now being delivered as we speak. And there's a crew coming in to set them up. I know you guys can't see them, but trust me, they are there. Okay. <laughs> So let's go ahead and hop into here. Actually, let's save first before we do anything else in case I screw something up. All right. And then we'll hop into the build menu. Okay, so we kind of roughly uh, mapped these out a couple of episodes ago. So let's go to... I'm trying to get my screen straight here, but it's like sticking. The mouse is sticking. There. That's pretty close. Okay, so let's go to production and to greenhouses. And this is the hydroponics greenhouse. So this is the size of the the vanilla, you know, default greenhouse. And this is the size of the, hy uh, the hydroponics modded greenhouse. So... Where is the load area? Okay, the load area is on the left. And it looks like it's the other end that we have to load, like, the water and the fertilizer, I'm thinking. Yeah, okay. So, now, I'm planning on doing three of these, one for each type of produce. So that's tomatoes, strawberries, and lettuce. And so I want to make sure that this is square. So what's something we can line it up with that we know is going to be square? Well, we should line it. Actually, probably the barn is the best thing because that's going to be what's going to be kind of what's going to be perceived against, if that makes sense. But it also should kind of line up with the edge of this which it pretty closely does, but it looks like... Looks like we could maybe stand it tilted this way, just a gnat's eyebrow. Right, how does that line up with the barn? It's close enough to where I don't think it's going to matter. Um, okay. Okay. 
Yeah, that's pretty that's pretty square, I think. Okay, now we want to do three. And so we're gonna put one right in the center, and then we'll put the other two off to either side. But I want to leave room for a chicken house later and maybe even the small cattle barn in the back here. So we're going to keep these fairly far forward. Um, probably, right, let's turn you this way because we know our building's square, so I don't need to have the camera square. We don't want it to be too close to the building because we have to get in there to drop off fertilizer and water. Oh, you know what, though? Mm. All right, here's... I need to do something else here first before we commit to this. Let's go to the animals. And... Okay, so the chi this is the chicken coop that we're going to buy. And we need... We're not going to buy it today, but, I mean, we will eventually buy it. And we need to make sure we can get to the silo and the load area with this. So I'm just going to have to try and remember the size of this unless we could put this back here possibly that trailer doesn't nest doesn't need to stay there so we could put the chicken house there okay so i'm just kind of visibly roughly remembering where that is and then we want the big cow barn too yeah see that's got a really large corral and back and it's got a silo that we got to get to on that side you uh, we have to be able to drive in the left and then back out the right with you know trailers of like silage and hay and that kind of thing boy i don't know if we're going to have enough room to do put this here i i think if we if we we're, we're going to buy this. We would need all the space that's here just for this alone. Because here again, it's not just the building we need to make room for, but we have to be able to drive in and out of it and have room to turn around and that sort of thing. All right, well, maybe we maybe we better not plan on putting the cattle barn on this property then. So we're going to have to, but when the time comes for us to get that, we're going to have to have another solution. But we should be able to put the chicken house on here though. So... So I'm thinking the, the three greenhouses in the front, because we're doing those now, and then we'll have plenty of room to figure out where we'll put the chicken house, chicken coop, I guess, um, when the time comes for us to get that in the back. Okay, so that, that kind of answers that question. All right, so let's go back to production and greenhouses and grab the, this. Now, are you still square to this barn? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. I was just looking to see how it was clipping into to the posts on the barn. All right. So we're going to put one pretty much smack dab in the middle. Again, we just need to figure out how far back we want it. I'm, th I'm thinking we put it... So it's the back of it's kind of lined up with the edge of there. We do have to get in there with a tractor, but you know, like with a water tank and stuff. But if if we line it up with the edge of the road, then that keeps this center place a, an open roadway to move through, and then the chicken coop will put back there. Okay, so that means we want it right about here. So the front of the building should be lined up with that right uh, tire track right there. This isn't perfect, perfectly scientific, but it's pretty darn close. Okay, and then I'm going to say that's about the center. Okay, now we're just going to go over here. We want room to be able to drive through, and we need room for the product. So, 
Let's go there and so those are still. Oh. Are those lined up? Yeah, I think so. It kind of doesn't look like it though. Um, if I check the edge of my screen against the barn, is it pretty lined up? I think it needs to twist this way, just just a smidge. There. Yep. The other one might be just a little bit far forward, but you know what? I don't think even if if it is, it's insignificantly so. So I'm not gonna worry about it. It's just that when I go over here, it looks like this is now too far back. Let's tilt the camera up. Okay, yeah, this is a better view. We want to go. I'm just trying to line up the bo bottom of my screen so it's square with the shed there. Okay, so. That's about the right spacing, I think. Maybe back. Yeah. We have to make sure we leave enough room because we got to be able to get in there and get the pallets out. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay. Now. Okay, so we could actually re we could actually move this and get all the money back if if I needed to fix the placement of it, but I think that's pretty good actually. Um, you know, there's a little more room on this side than over here, but that's good because the loading area is here. Not that those pallets are that big, but still. All right, you guys. There's our greenhouses. Look at that. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, so basically one's going to be maters, one's going to be lettuce, and one's going to be strawberries. Okay, now... <coughs> What we have to do next is we have to go into here and hydroponics greenhouse large. Oh, okay. So how do I know which one's which? See, that one's shown up as the middle one. I would have thought it was the top one. And I guess it's not going to matter, and we're going to know which one's which when once we decide who's doing what. Okay, so let's have this one do tomatoes. Activate. Okay, and then we're going to need to... Oh! Uh... I guess we need to... I guess we need to load it up with water and fertilizer first. Okay, so it's going to need water and liquid fertilizer. Okay, so now water. I think we're probably going to want to go... I can, I can pick that up? No. Wait, what? Is that actually putting water inside of that? I don't think so. We need a basketball. Okay, so um, the fertilizer's pretty straightforward. We just got to go buy some fertilizer. I don't know how much we need to buy, um, and we need liquid fertilizer. So let's head over to the shop and take care of that part first, and then we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do for water. Um, we're probably going to have to either lease or more likely buy a water tank, and then... 
I'm not sure exactly how we fill it up. I think we have to take it to, we could probably take it to a stream or a lake or something and fill it up that way maybe. Um, there, there is a water tower um, back over that way. I'm pointing at my screen as if you guys can see what I'm pointing at. <laughs> um, maybe we go there. Uh, there's also like a little lake off to the right there that maybe we could just go to. I'm not sure. We'll figure it out though. We will figure it out. So we're going to buy one pallet of liquid fertilizer first and just see how far that gets us. There's all of our contract equipment. Okay, so let's go here and we want to go to pallets. And liquid fertilizer costs us 3200 bucks for 2,000 liters. Uh, yeah, again, we're just going to buy one. And I don't know if it's... It's one if it's one per greenhouse, half of one per greenhouse, two per greenhouse. Not sure, so we're gonna figure it out. Let's try not to puncture this thing. That sucker costs us three thousand bucks. I don't think that actually would happen, but maybe not tilt it back that far. <laughs> okay, let's take it back and see what happens. If it turns out that we need several more, then I'll probably bring the flatbed down here and load the rest of them up. Um, but we'll start with one and just see what it does. Okay, so I'm assuming we just set this right in front of the water thingy. Oh, you know what? Is that what these the green bins are for? It doesn't have... It doesn't have this little load icon, though, so... Yeah, I don't know. Alright, well, let's just put it... here. Okay, we'll hop out. And okay, so we have fertilizer in front. How do we load it? Maybe we do have to take it in back, or do we have to stand next to it and offload it that way? Pick up object, throw object, switch hand tool, open power tool, super strength. Uh, close door. All right, maybe we do take it to the back. Let's let's find out. I'm not seeing anything to indicate how to offload that. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, apparently, you can't put straight up liquid fertilizer pallets in the thing. You have to have it inside of a tank uh, from what I was seeing. The mod itself does not give any instruction whatsoever. I guess it just assumes you know that's how it works. Um, and I, there were a couple videos. One guy's video, he had already loaded it and didn't even show how to do it at all. Then the other guys showed that you had to do... Uh, you had to have this in a tank. So, let's... Um, let's turn this off and go to the store. And what is that? A forager wagon? And another big case header. Uh, this is a 10 meter header. Oh, no, this will only do sunflower and corn. Okay, yeah, no, we don't want that. Uh, not right now, anyway. 
Okay, so let's go here, and what we need is tanks. Now, is it possible to get a tank that'll do both water and fertilizer? I have no idea. There's slurry tanks, but we need tank tanks. So trailers, wagons, stone pickers, plows, rollers, spaders, sprayers, manure spreaders, weeders, balers, front loaders, levelers, animal transport. Dollies, low loaders, miscel miscellaneous. Uh, trans our tanks transport liquids. So, is that what that is for? How much is it? Holy crap! Thirty thousand bucks. Really? Is that seriously the only option the base game gives us? For tanks, I think we might have to call up Mod Hub again. Unless I'm looking in the wrong place. Animal transport, animals, tedders, forage wagons, balers, loaders, chainsaws, mowers, sweeters, slurry tanks. But yeah, that's not what we need. That's for like fertilizer, manure, and stuff like that. Sprayers. That's a tank for, looks like pesticide and fertilizer. Or maybe herbicide. Trailer grapes, stone pickers, pull. Trailers? Maybe? That is really weird, man. You'd think you'd think there'd be more than one option in the even in the base game for a liquid tank. What's this? That's a pallet trailer. That's a vehicle transport trailer. I mean, I don't know how frequently I'm going to have to fill these. How much does it cost to lease this? It's only 1500 bucks. So, I mean, I'll tell you what, though. Let's let me look on the mod hub first before we. What's making that noise? It's like there's a sprinkler or something spraying, but these don't have any water in them. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let me let me take a quick look on the mod hub and see what's there. I'll be right back. Okay. So, I may have been looking in the wrong place, but I did find um some tanks. But I think what I'm supposed to do is was I was supposed to look under animals. Yeah, there. Okay, so there are tanks here. I just wasn't thinking that they'd be under animals. Uh, okay, so there's some options here, and they're not a million bazillion dollars, which is good. Um, these are the ones I downloaded from the mod. And the cool thing about these is that you can specify okay no decal with decal there's, there's supposed to be a way you can specify if it's like a fertilizer tank or a water tank okay that says milk and this says water Okay, that's cool. Um, but if we got two of these, that's thirty thousand bucks right there, uh, which is a bit pricey. There's supposed to be one for fertilizer too. I wonder if if, if they put it in this category. No, I don't see it in there. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's in the miscellaneous category. Yeah, it's right here. No, that's for diesel. Oh, the other thing too is I bought this. Um, or, or not? I bought. I installed this rake mod, and apparently you can use this to. Um, clean up, you know, like the little pieces of hay and stuff that that you miss. Um, so we're gonna actually buy that. That'll come in handy. Okay, so let's go back to animals, and we just—I don't want something that's gonna cost a million bazillion dollars. So there's some pretty big tanks here. 
That is a 2,000 liter. That's a 6,000 liter. That's a 7,300 liter. That's 8,000 liter, but the price jumps way up too. So can we transport any kind of liquid we want to in here? It just says tanks transport liquids. It doesn't say that it has to be a particular kind of liquid. The thing is, is the greenhouses, I think they hold up to 30,000 liters of water. And I think I found out it was 3,000 liters of fertilizer. So this is a 6,000 liter tank. That's a 7,300 liter tank for 1,500 more dollars. Oh, you know what, though? Oh, yeah, so we, we really can only do water in these. All right, well, then that being the case, this one can do water and furt. And it is 8,000 liters, and it's $25,000. My goodness. Uh, that one's 32,000 liters. I mean, it would take almost this entire tank just to fill one greenhouse up with water. But, I mean, we can make multiple trips. I, I can't afford that anyways. Uh, well, yeah, so we only have $52,000 right at the moment. I'm, I'm kind of thinking we buy this one uh, because it's got a decent amount of space. So it would take us three and a half trips per greenhouse to fill it with water. And we'd be able to fill two and a half-ish greenhouses with fertilizer, uh, liquid fertilizer. And that's going to take a lot of our money, but, um, well, you know, okay, here's another option, though. We could buy two of these. They're 7,300 liters. And we can have one dedicated to fertilizer and one for water. And it's going to be $19,000 as opposed to $25,000. Is there any way to put it? You know, we can't put a decal on these is the thing. Well, I mean, if we're, if we're looking at that much money, maybe we should go back to the modded ones. All right. So we have to find the one that this only takes diesel. So we have to find the one that would take fertilizer. Uh, let's go back to animals for a second. Okay, so this is the water one. That's a milk. And how, how what's the capacity on this again? It is 8,000 liters. Okay. <clears throat> so the 8,000 liter tank in the base game is $10,000 more than this one, and you can't put a decal on it. So I think this is what we should go for, guys. This is what sounds make, seems to make the most sense. Okay, but we got to find the fertilizer one. So I want to make sure we can find that one first before I commit here. So where would it be? I mean, it's not under fertilizer spreaders. Uh, would it be under sprayers, maybe? Uh, yep, that's the one. Okay, so this one can hold fertilizer and it can hold, uh, I guess, herbicide. What's that? Oh, that's a, uh, that's a sprayer. Oh, right. A sprayer. Yeah. Duh. Okay. So yeah, I think we'll do this. So we, we want this to have no decals with decals with decal. Oh, okay. So it puts one in the front. Oh, that costs more money. Oh, yikes. Okay. 250 bucks just for that? What the heck, man? Okay, we'll just get it in the back. So we'll know, that way we'll know this is fertilizer. Now, I like the metallic. Oh my goodness, that brings it up to $3,000 now. <laughs> uh, okay, what if it's just white? Are all of these colors 1500 bucks? Yeah, it looks like it, huh? Darn it. Uh, 
Okay. Well, I, I like the metallic look. What about chain? What about making the rims metallic? That costs another four hundred. See, now this is starting to get a little, a little more expensive. Um, still a way better deal though than the, you know, than the the base game one. So if we if we got two of these configured this way, now we're looking at thirty seven thousand dollars. Doesn't leave us a whole lot of money left over, but we do have a bunch of contracts coming up to do. I guess the other thing is we could just get the orange for now. And what was the default? I think it was just red, wasn't it? I don't remember what the rims were. Rim color, black. What was the one that didn't cost us anything? Here, let's get back out and back in. It was this. It's the case IH color. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we could always reconfigure these later. Oh, what's this mean? Pallets? Standard pallets. What? What's that mean? I guess that means we can load pallets in, which we need to because we purchased that pallet. Doesn't really seem to change anything. So yeah, uh, um, but like I said, we we can change the color on this later when we can afford to do it. So let's let's not go crazy here. So we're we're just gonna keep it in the default ugly orange color. I mean, not that orange is ugly, but I would have preferred a different color. But that's okay. Uh, but we do want to get the decal. Okay. So anyway, uh, this is our fertilizer trailer. It's set to pallets, so I'm assuming that means we can load fertilizer uh, pallets on it. Let's buy it. Okay, and then we're going to go back to animals. And we're going to go to the water trailer. And we want a decal on the back of that. And again, we're just going to use the standard colors for now. Okay, so... We've taken care of that. Now, let's go to, uh, let's bring this pallet back to the shop and see if we can load it in that, that first tank. I certainly hope we can, because this was expensive, man. No, don't start getting glitchy on me. Yeah, you, know, you stupid thing. Oh, I guess the forks were a little bit low down. Okay. You low down forks? Okay, so I think each one holds 3,000 liters, so that means we're going to need a total of 6,000. And that means we're going to need to buy two more of these. No, 9,000. So f four and a half more of these. Oh, man, that's going to be expensive. <laughs> I hope this lasts a long time. Lordy. But, you know, it's our first production facilities, and we bought three of them. So, you know, I guess that's not too terribly surprising. Hopefully we'll make some pretty decent money off of this produce. All right, so there's our rake. So let's set this right next to the fertilizer tank. All right, what the heck's going on here? It's because my, my forks are too low. So now we probably have to hook up to the fertilizer tank. What do I do with this thing? Do I just... Okay, how do I... <laughs> how do I get it to go the right direction? Okay, now go this way. Uh... 
That's really weird. Okay. Let's just, uh, let's put that right there for now. <laughs> I'll mess with it later. Okay. It's too bad the rake wasn't like the chainsaw where it's just kind of in your inventory. Okay, now. You first need to fill... Okay, refill trailer. There we go. All right, nice. So what was that? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So that's a 2,000 liter. So we're going to need three more pallets to get to 8,000. Well, we're going to need three and a half more. Oh, man, this is going to be spendy, guys. All right, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's, um... Let's go load the f the f first. I might just do one pallet per greenhouse to start with, because I want to get a sense for how, um, you know, how long it's going to last. Because we might not need to com completely fill them up this first time until we get a little bit more money. Okay. Don't know if that's actually on there or not. <laughs> that's really bizarre, man. Oh, we just ran over our rake. No, we didn't run it over. Okay. Pick it up. You know what? I, I'm going to run this home really quick because if, <laughs> if I don't, I'm probably going to forget about it. So let's just run it home real quick. Here we go. Okay, so... How do I... How do I get rid of the the grass? Doesn't seem to work unless help menu drop object throw object. That's just the rotation. All right. I <laughs> I don't know how that works. I have to figure it out later. The thing about some of these mods is they don't always explain exactly how you're supposed to do things. So, <sighs> all right, let's run back to the tractor. Okay. Some of you might be wondering why I don't just teleport to the vehicle. And the answer to that question is I'm trying to make this series somewhat realistic um you know so that's why i don't do it I, I mean i do do it sometimes but try not to do it too much all right so that's our new fertilizer tank i guess the orange isn't terrible it's just i would have preferred to have the chrome color but we don't need to be spending money on something like that right now Oh, by the way, if you guys haven't noticed, this is our one-year anniversary in farm... What the heck's wrong with my combine? <laughs> How did that happen? Uh, I have no idea how that happened. Oh, it's caught down in the thing. Uh, 
weird, man. Okay. Don't be doing that. <sighs> okay. So, we're supposed to be able to just drive right by the fill point and then it should automatically fill. So let's watch our gauge in the lower right corner by the speedometer and see what happens here. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice. Okay, so yeah, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put one pallet of liquid fertilizer in each greenhouse. And then we're just going to see, you know, how long that will last. Because that sh I think that filled it up one third of the way. Let's look. Oh, no. Okay. It filled it up two thirds of the way. Right. Because it holds 3,000 liters and that was a 2,000 liter pallet. So that means we need one, two, three, four. Well, yeah, we, we still need four more pallets to completely fill that up. I'm going to also deactivate the tomatoes until, I mean, I, they, they probably would be fine once we filled everything up, but let's wait until we get all the stuff in. Okay. Close, please. Why aren't you closing? There. All right, let's go get two more pallets of fertilizer. Uh, yeah, pallets of liquid fertilizer. And we'll get the other two, and then we'll do the water next. Let's load this one up. Very cool. Okay. And the last one. So if any of you are still thinking this mod was a little cheaty with the double production, well, don't forget, man, I just spent a crap ton of money on a fertilizer tank and on fertilizer, and I'm still only filling them up two-thirds of the way. So this is expensive, so I don't think it's a cheaty at all. Very good. Okay, so... All of all three of our greenhouses now are full, well, not full, two-thirds full of fertilizer. So I think what we'll do for our tanks, let's just park them over here by our trailer for now. That should be good enough. Now oh, we got a big old dually tractor there. That's going to be fun. Probably needs to be for that big ginormous cultivator. Okay, let's hook up to you. So, there is, there's a lake right across the way there. I wonder if we can just go there to fill this thing up. If, if that doesn't work, then we probably have to go to that to the water tower okay so can we just pull in here bring up the help oh yeah we can look oh nice okay free water <laughs> at least we don't have to pay for the water eh that's awesome fantastic I don't suppose, um, can I get through here? I think so. I don't suppose the, the little crick that kind of runs on the border of our property would work for this. Maybe, I don't know, probably not. I mean, there's barely any water in it. Yeah, I I'd be seriously surprised if that worked. I think though, if we look at the map, I think that is the closest body of water to our 
property. Yeah, it's this one right here. I don't see anything else any closer than that. Well, actually, no, that was a little further down the road than this one is. You see the the water tower is right here and it doesn't show any icon on it and so it's 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 not like a loading station so i guess that is how, <clears throat> how the game expects us expects us to get water i don't know there are mods that you can install like fire hydrants that'll give you water and stuff like that too uh no we're not going there we're going this way Just curious, if we get right by this water, does it give us a fill option? No, it doesn't. I wouldn't expect it to because there's there's almost virtually no water in there. It's more like mud. Okay. Let's come around this way. I'm eventually planning on buying all of these fields too behind us. As we expand our empire. Alright, might as well hit this one first. Oh, yeah, too bad we couldn't pull it from that ditch, huh? That's like right there. Oh, we can... Can we pull from that little hydrant there? I don't think that's functional. I think it's just... No, I don't see anything pop up on the tank. All right. Let's fill that up with water. So it's slowly filling here. There we go. Okay, so that now it's at eight thousand liters. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait till they're all all three of them have water because I want to start them all approximately at the same time. Okay, so I'm gonna go get two more loads of water, one for each of the other two greenhouses, and when I'm finished with that. I'll bring you guys back and then we will get our produce production started. Okay, we got the last um, load here. Each greenhouse has one water tank load and one liquid fertilizer pallet load. All right, so this first one is going to be tomatoes. And so let's activate. Okay, why are they still dead? We got water and fertilizer. Deactivate. Does it... Okay, status, running... Cycles per month, 624, $2 per month. I don't know why they're still dead. Did I screw it up by starting it too soon? All right, let's do lettuce on this one. Yeah, that looks good. All right, we'll do strawberries in this one. Actually, no, you know what? Let's try something. Let's do tomatoes in this one. Uh, activate. There. Okay, we have healthy tomato plants, and we'll switch this over to strawberries. What the heck? 
Well, maybe that I guess maybe that'll fix itself. That must just be like sprinklers going off or something. Uh, maybe this will fix itself tomorrow because if we look at this, it doesn't it doesn't indicate that there's anything wrong with them. It says it's running. It's got the water in the fertilizer. Okay, so now the the way this works, because I I have uh, wood production facilities on my multiplayer server, is you have the output mode. So if you keep it on storing, oh yeah, it just produced some strawberries right there. So this must just be kind of like a visual glitch that I'm assuming will fix itself. Maybe when I log out and back in, or maybe the next day. Um. It's probably just because I started the plants uh, too soon, you know, before they had this stuff, and it put them vi visibly put them into a a wilted state or a withered state. You, I, you know what? Let's let's try the logout theory first. Uh, yeah, we might as well save the game. Okay, we're back. Let's run over there and see what they look like now. Oh, they're good. Okay. They are good. All right. So we got strawberries in here, lettuce in the middle one, and tomatoes in the back one. Excellent. Okay. So what I was talking about is if we come here, um, if we have this output mode set to storing, then what it'll do is it'll just, once it gets a full pallet, it'll set them right here in this little loading area and line them all up here. And then I can load them up myself and go sell them um, myself, right? But you also have, uh, let's see, output mode selling. And what that means then is that the greenhouse will just automatically sell the tomatoes for you. I don't know exactly... Look, there's tomatoes on it. I don't know exactly it, how it does that in terms of, you know, does it pick the best price or what? Um, let's see, tomatoes. So nobody's currently, I mean, the price is dropping on all of them. So I would have to assume that it, it should pick the, be the best price for you, I think, but I don't know that for sure. I'll have to research that. Uh, the fast food restaurant, that should be Mama Joe's just right across the street there. Um, and I think, I'm not sure, but I think if there's a red thing there, maybe that means they're not buying at the moment. Or maybe it just means the price is dropping. I haven't really figured that out, but I'm pretty sure Mama Joe's is the fast food restaurant. Yeah. Okay. So there's that. And then if your production facility is a production uh, if it if its product is going into another one of your production facilities then you set it to distributing and then it'll just automatically uh send this product to the next facility down the line so if i was like for example making cloth and then i had also a, also a tailoring factory then the cloth production facility would send the cloth directly to the tra tailoring thing um but i think what we're going to do is we're just going to keep it on storing and we'll handle the selling of the tomatoes ourselves, um, and uh, until and unless I can find out if it sells to the best price when it's on automatic. You would think that that's what it would do, but I'm I don't know for sure. Very cool, you guys. All right, we finally got some greenhouses. Our first production facilities of our playthrough. Very nice. Now uh, I don't know how much money these are ultimately going to make us, but I think. I think that, you know, they're not, I don't know if they're going to make us filthy rich, but they're definitely going to be a source of income for us, you know, which is great because up to this point, the only source of income, steady source of income that we've had has been contracts, right? Um, and then, you know, the occasional sale of our own product, which hasn't been a whole lot just because we have, you know, we have such small farms at the moment. So this is a, a step up for us and a step in the right direction. And I'm excited to see you know, how everything's going to come together for us uh, with the, the sales of these things. And I think if we go into here, 
Um, does it tell us? Yeah. Per, well, production costs. Okay, here we go. Sold wood bales, milk products. Probably sold products is where we are going to see what the income for that's going to be. Because there isn't anything that specifically says um, tomatoes, right? So that's probably where we're going to see the income come in. Yeah, so we spent 9600 bucks on fertilizer. And we spent uh, over $30,000 on those two tanks. So this... This has definitely cost us quite a bit of money, but I think it's going to pay off in the long run, and I'm pretty excited to see how, how well it does for us. All right, you guys. Well, um, that is it, I think, for this episode. So I have a bunch of contracts to do. As usual, I will do those off camera. Um, and every time I see that deer, it looks like it's a dog or something because it's such a small deer. Uh, I'll probably just do those off camera. I don't know if I'm going to montage these. Um, is there anything new in these contracts that we haven't already done a bazillion times? Most of this, yeah, it's all cultivating, fertilizing, and plowing. So I don't think I'm going to show this one in the montage. Uh, we will definitely do more of that sort of thing. I'm not saying I'm not going to do any more of them. I'm just saying for this particular time around, I don't think we will. Um, but we're looking at, you know, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... Uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 20. We're looking at about between 25 to 30,000 uh, of money that we're going to make for this, except for that we do lose a little bit of that because we borrowed some of their stuff. But, you know, not too bad, big of a deal. I might even hire a worker to help with some of that because... Well, no, we can't because unless I lease another cultivator or a plow, which I don't think I want to do. So I'll probably just do it all myself. All right, guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, in the next episode, it'll either be August 2nd or August 3rd. And in those episodes, we are going to harvest our oats. Um, or on one of those days, I should say, we're going to harvest our oats. And then, you know, figure out what to do for a storage solution for them depending upon you know how many oats we get because we obviously do not want to sell those until january so that is what's coming up in the next episode guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the episode and if you did you know what to do please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share the video and we'll catch you in the next episode Bye bye